well whenever we come out to just show encouragement to our men and women that are in here. We get, you know, we get these, uh, these stories, we get these accounts of just the atrocities that go on, the inhum in inhumane treatment that's being done in there. What's private about the sheriff? I understand. I ain't gonna fight with you about that. I'll move my car. I got you. I got you. Yeah, so, I mean, right. so who say we can't park over there, though? Cheers, I'm talking. I'm talking to everybody. Honey, I mean, sheriff got parked. Lord, have mercy. They don't even have no fans back here. I have a history with them. They don't even have no fans back here. And they're not supposed to be back here. Oh, they ain't even told me a lot. They got black boys in the shower. You don't treat a dog like mm -hmm. what these folks are saying they're being treated like. And while we were here, somebody actually came to them and threatened to mace them if they didn't stop talking to us. At that same point, somebody drove around here and actually told us to move our car from the empty parking lot across the street. Total disrespect. It's just total disrespect of humans. The ones that are under their supervision, you can hear people screaming out. Yeah. Right now, this young man is telling us that he has mental problems. Mental health problems. That Document. he has mental, documented mental health problems. He hasn't been getting any supervision. He hasn't been getting his medications. You know, we've got people talking about drinking dirty water out of the sink. That when they flush the toilet after they defecate, it goes into the next cell, yeah, and right. they have to flush the toilet. Who's responsible for maintaining this facility? See, this is where it'll get dicey for you, Eugene, because the administration, the Metro Council, the Mayor's Office, the Sheriff's Department, uh, the Department of Public Works, all of them will throw that ball around and nobody takes accountability. I challenge our leaders here in Baton Rouge, not just the Sheriff, but our leaders, the, our city officials, to look into this, actually mm -hmm. see what's going on. This is Eugene Collins and I'm here with Ms. Melinda Franks and we're reporting live with a horrible situation from the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. Thank you.